The good lady from the 36th, Representative Frame. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It will come as no surprise to anyone in this chamber who's been paying attention to my voting habits this session that I will not be supporting this bill tonight. As one of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle said jokingly, I am earning the N-O that begins my first name. I have been a no on every new tax exemption or preferential rate that has come before this chamber this year. So why will I be a, a no vote tonight, Madam Speaker? Because when we pass this, and I know we probably will, we will cross the threshold of 700 exemptions or preferential rates in our tax code. 700. Any economist will tell you, Madam Speaker, that the ideal tax system has the lowest tax rates collected from the broadest set of tax holders with the fewest exemptions. Madam Speaker, we have the opposite of the ideal system. In fact, we have the most regressive tax structure in the entire nation. In plain English, Madam Speaker, that means that we disproportionately overburden middle class and poor people, and I would add small business in this state. We ask the poorest among us to pay three times more in taxes than the wealthiest 1%. The wealthiest among us and the largest corporations in the state don't pay their fair share in taxes because we don't demand that they do. In fact, we barely ask them to. Now, each of these tax breaks and each of these exemptions before us, they have merit. I would love to support the vibrant film industry in my district. I would love to support the hundreds of people that came before the Finance Committee last year and made a compelling case for the martial arts exemption. And there are other exemptions on the, the, the books, and I would love to support those in my district who seek to reduce their carbon footprint through installing solar panels. But Madam Speaker, every time we pass one of these exemptions, we are making a bad problem worse. And frankly, tonight we passed a new statewide property tax and asked middle class homeowners and their renters to bear the brunt of fully funding our schools. And you'll notice, Madam Speaker, I was a no on that one too. The time has come, Madam Speaker, for this chamber and this body to get serious about structural, comprehensive tax reform. It is time that we fight for all taxpayers in the state of Washington, not just those who can afford the time and the treasure to come down here and ask us for relief. So, Madam Speaker, while I appreciate the efforts that are in this bill and the merit of the individual exemptions and preferential rates, I ask you and the rest of our colleagues to vote no and instead work towards comprehensive reform of our system and get serious about it today. Thank you, Madam Speaker.